What's up? I'm back. Today's Thursday. And, uh, after a whole lot of fucking anger and frustration on this fucking piece of shit truck. Oh, I hate this thing. Remember Tom's Wonderful World had a video there about the, the wood truck. How much he fucking hates the truck and the truck hates him. And there's always that one vehicle that you just... It's a shitty feeling and it doesn't let you do anything you want to it. And it's a piece of shit. This is that truck. And I wanted to get the fuck out. And it always seems like the jobs that you don't fucking make out on are the jobs that are pieces of shit. Oh, This fender that the owner supplied to this truck. I don't know where the fuck it came from, but it is the biggest piece of shit I have ever fucking had to put on a car. And it's not going on there. We're getting a new one. Uh, I had to put a jack here and jack up this end of the fender to get this gap to line up halfway decent. And as you can see, it's like quarter inch and nothing and if you look up here I can stick my finger in there if you look over here it's dead tight uh, even here the gap is humongous there's nothing I can do about it there's no adjustments for that I can't lift this fender up. Uh, this down in here, this little looks halfway decent now, but that was after I used a slide hammer and fucking ganked out this fender like a goddamn motherfucker. Fucked up the door. Now I have to fucking fix the door and paint into the door. This was originally just going to be a panel paint. Um, the bolt that goes in down here, uh, yeah, I couldn't even get that bolt in. I had to bend this where these bolts go. I had to bend it up so the fender would go down some. And then I had to take a chisel and beat up in there. You see right here? I had to take a chisel and beat there to get this little ear to bend over to get that bolt the halfway line up and thank god that that bolt was one like this with a point on it I just used my impact gun and went what? that's all I could do and then now I have the hood latch unhooked because he wanted me to straighten out the gap in the hood and now I don't know if you can see that, but the gap slam there, and I can stick my finger in up here, and over here it's like really wide the entire way down, uh, it's just a real piece of shit, and uh, I was trying to get this fender to go over yesterday, and I had my porter power in here to push the fender over, to push this bracket over, and uh, I was all the way against my adjustments on this. So then, I stacked together four washers, fender washers, I think these are three eighths, and I was gonna sandwich these, both of them, behind here, where this bolts to the fender, so it would actually be a quarter inch out in the fender, and then I was gonna porter power the whole thing over to give me my extra quarter inch. But you know, when it came to that, and then I looked down here, and this isn't going to line up. And this is going to have to get bent. And the door's already fucked up. And the guy was worried about the hood gaps being straight. He obviously wants this to look halfway decent. So I just stopped. Enough is enough. There's only so much shit you can bend and finagle. I mean, I'm not saying I can make the fender look probably halfway decent. But with how much headache. Plus... You can't fix this. <coughs> you can't fix this. Whatever. Also, when you shut the hood, if I can shut the damn hood, the fender doesn't lay flush with the hood. The hood sticks out. 
and there's nothing I can do about it because the hood's actually recessed to the cowl, but it sticks out over the hood. It's just a shitty fucking fender. The, uh, the owner of this truck got this fender for free from his nephew, and it just fits like shit. I forget the fucking name of the fender. Uh, I already painted over the fucking goddamn sticker on the back of the fender. But, um, we talked him into just fucking getting a different fender. I don't give a shit. And then, my buddy's gonna order it through a body shop that he works at, and he's just gonna get it from Keystone. So it's gonna be another aftermarket piece of shit that's probably not gonna fucking fit either. Oh. <sighs> I want to put the fucking old fender back on it, but nobody wants the old fender back on it because it's so rusted and deteriorated here. It's rusted all down here. Someone's already tried putting Rust-Oleum fucking rust deadener on it. As you can see, the black here. The inner's even all rusted out down in there. So they don't want the new fender put back or the old fender put back on it. And I gotta deal with aftermarket pieces of shit. I know you guys know all about aftermarket, but this is just unacceptable. I mean, even these body lines here don't line up. They're fucking at least an eighth inch off. And you guys know with these fucking double walled structure fenders that have an inner and outer structure, uh, you can't bend them you can't fucking make it go up make it go down you can't you just you fucking can't and it's a really big headache and aftermarket parts are one of the biggest headaches when it comes to fucking doing auto body work and nobody understands it even when i called the owner to tell him his fender's a piece of shit oh it's a brand new fender it doesn't have any dents or anything in it i thought it would just bolt right up buddy if it bolted right up i wouldn't be fucking calling you right now i'm i trying to tell him, like, I'm gonna put it on there, that ain't no problem, I'll put it on there, paint it up, give it back to you, I said, but, some of these gaps are off by a half inch, oh, a half inch, I can't have that, well, then, there you go, I can't make your fucking magic happen either, just, I hate aftermarket parts, because people buy them, and they're like, oh, man, that's a brand new part, this thing should look like a true quality, and really, you gotta fucking bend so much shit, that's not even worth your time. I don't know. I hate aftermarket parts. I know everybody out there in the auto body world hates aftermarket parts. But that's I'm up against. So I am going to take this fender back off of this truck. I'm going to pull the truck out for the time being. And uh, I'm going to see how fast I can get a new fender. We'll find out. My buddy's supposed to be ordering it today. So uh, we'll see. We will see. And uh, that's the story on this piece of shit. And uh, I'm really fucking sick of it. So I'll talk to you guys later.